Hi guys, Mikey from Nine Eye Clubhouse here. Hoping you've had a great Easter and you're all keeping safe. I figured you guys uh, would like to have some access to some tools to work on music while you're all keeping safe in your bubbles. So today I want to show you um, what to do once you've finished your Looper Man song in Reaper. And it's going to be a pretty short one today. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you've got something you're happy with and you want to share it with your friends, family, upload it to social, whatever. Remember, anything you make with the Looper Man and Reaper is yours to do with as you please. You can share it for free, sell it, whatever you want. Uh, so oh, let me open up Reaper and we'll begin. So uh, I've got a basic track that hasn't been arranged yet. Um, open up and um, uh, I'm going to use that as our example. I'm assuming that you've already figured out how to save your track, but if not, I'll show you now. Sorry, I kind of overlooked that one until now. Um, so what you need to go up to File um, and then click Save Project As. Uh, now at this point, Reaper's going to ask you where you want to save your project. Um, now I usually save my projects on the desktop because that's just how I do things. Um, but you might want to save to a different location um, and this is where you can choose where to put that. Um, once you've decided where you want to save your project, um, you can give it a name. Um, I've called mine Plan B Working With Exporting. Um, but you know, you can call yours whatever you want to. Um, anything will do. The important part that I want to draw your attention to is the checkboxes over here at the uh, bottom of the window here and um, uh, I want you to get into the habit of especially checking that one, create subdirectory for project and also move all media into project directory. So this is um, going to keep all of your project files together in one folder which is really important. Um, so obviously you can just push save down the bottom here and you're good to go. Um, now I, I'm not going to do that because I've already saved this um, so I'm just going to X out of that window um, and we'll get back to the project but that's how you'd save it if you wanted to, well when you want to. Um, okay so let's move on and I'm just going to throw a couple of terms at you. Um, the first is the term rendering and I'm sure you've all heard that before but in this context it means to export the mix to a single track that we can share um, however we like. And the second term is overload. And again, this should be familiar to most of you because, you know, it's not rocket science. Um, but for this close, for this case, sorry, for clarity, um, it means to work with audio that is louder than what Reaper can uh, deal with. So it's being overloaded um, by a signal. So I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you, actually, I'll just show you an example of how that would work. Um, in, in Reaper. Um, so say you've done your mix and you're quite happy with it but in the process of getting putting your sounds together you had to turn uh, one of those sounds up or one of the make make one of the loops a lot louder than uh, one of the other loops so it could be heard above something else um, but now you've noticed that these little red boxes are showing up above your mixer channels so I'll just play something and I'll show you an example of that. Right, so you can see those little red boxes at the bottom, that are at the top of the mixer channels, that's what I was talking about. Um, and they are there to tell you that the channel is overloading um, and that the signal coming out of that channel will be distorted. Basically you don't want these red boxes at all anywhere in your mix. Um, and before we move on to rendering, um, I've got to show you a way you can keep your mix relationship um, but also not overload the system. Um, so this is the basic level of what's known as gain staging um, and mixing. So uh, to do this, what I want you to do is, is just left click on any of your mixer channels. Doesn't matter, could be any of them. And uh, then I want you to hold down control or uh, command on a Mac and press A and that'll select all of the mixer channels. Um, yeah, and then you can when you move one of them, the um, faders on, on the mixer, all of them will move as a block together once they're all selected. So you can see that they're all moving as one. 
um, and I want you to just so I'll just undo that so that's at negative 1.1 dB so I'm gonna pull that down say so the loudest of those is negative is going 7.8 over so I'm I really need to come down about 8 dB so if we pull it down to about negative 9 that should be about right and let's have a play I'm just gonna click those to reset them right because they're all moving together you can lower the overall level of the mix without changing the relationship between any of the individual parts uh, which stops the louder parts from overloading and distorting now obviously this is really good because there is no distortion but now everything is much quieter which also isn't great so the second part of this fix is to use uh, a software plugin to automatically increase the loudness of the whole song without letting it overload and distort so this is a form of compression that we're going to use this is the first plugin that we've we've used um, in this the series so to do this uh, we're going to head over to the left hand side of the stage um, and the bottom at the bottom here uh, where it says uh, I'm going to left click yeah not yeah left click on the uh, thing that says FX on the master channel here so left click on it um, and it's going to bring up two boxes and in this first box we're just going to type at the bottom here where it says filter um, it's like a search bar for all of your plugins we're just gonna type in limiter uh, yep so we've got all of those plugins uh, limiters of one sort or another um, and I'm gonna select the JS master limiter and click OK uh, now cool thing about this plugin is you can control the loudness of uh, your mix really easily by sliding the threshold control, this one up the top, um, to the left. Um, and it's the way that it's built is it will make the mix louder, but it won't overload the peak uh, um, controller. So it's it's not going to it's not going to distort at all. It's just going to get louder. Um, now how you want to use this is a really powerful tool but how you want to do it is you want to get the outside meters and I'll just show you this how to do uh, this in a second but I'm going to talk to you how to through it first you want to get the outside meters um, to, to be around these green boxes um, and the and I'll, and I'll just sort of I'll play around and you'll be able to see what I'm doing so um, if you've got your that those levels um, hap happening in those green boxes you're about roughly right um, for most situations. It might be a little bit too loud for some things. It might be a bit too quiet for others. But yeah, that's that's kind of ballpark. So I play it, and you'll see what I can, what I'm doing. And you know, it's not rocket science. You'll get it. Okay, so you can see that it's sitting a little bit below those green boxes, and it's kind of a little bit loud, but not as loud as it was before. So I'm just going to slide it over to the left. It's working pretty well um, so that's basically how that works that's part of a process that what we've just done is a part of um, a process called mastering which is huge and um, I'm not going to get into it today because it's like you know people live their whole lives and um, you know it's a it's a career just doing that one thing um, so let's move on now and we'll talk about rendering uh, so to start this process you're I'll just X out of that one um, you're gonna have to go up to the top left hand side of the, the screen and hit file again and um, choose render oddly enough <laughs> and this will bring you up um, a window called render to file so um, this is uh, you've got to make sure that master mix is up in your drop down box um, entire project is selected um, and the file name is what you want it to call uh, want it to be called um, so you know it's totally up to you what you call your file name and actually 
um, this is where you can choose where you uh, where you want the file to be put as well. So um, by default, it'll just go into whatever your um, project directory is, so wherever you saved it, um, it'll go in there. But you can choose um, you can choose somewhere else if you want. Um, so the only other settings that um, I will, uh, that you'll have to mess with um, are the format setting down here and um, this one here that's immediately underneath it. So for sharing with your friends um, and you know just sending it on social or whatever you'll uh, you want it mp3 definitely. Um, you could use Og Warbus but yeah mp3 is the one. Um, now I kind of find that um, 192 kilobits per second or kbps is about the right sort of um, bit rate for mp3 but you can go much higher much lower it's just kind of a nice average um, bit rate so try try starting off there and see you know see what you like um, if you're pl planning to uh, sell your beat or upload it to a streaming service like soundcloud or um, put it to a video and put it on youtube or something like that you'll definitely want a wave file so you just click on uh, that drop down box and select wave file there and uh, it'll need to be 16 bit um, for the bit depth um, so yeah that's um, those are the two things that you need to be concerned about on this screen everything else is, can be leave left to the default now I'm gonna uh, render to mp3 because that's just what I want to do um, and I'm just gonna press render down here and it'll oh yeah, over right. Boom. and you can see that it's just working its way through it now um, so if you are having trouble rendering to mp3 I'll leave a link in the um, tutorial in the description um, that should be able to help you out um, some people do have a problem rendering with out of Reaper but I think in Reaper 6 it's all native so it's a little bit easier uh, once it's finished rendering um, you can click on show in Explorer and it'll uh, bring up where your your file is um, so yeah it's you've got your uh, new file in your project directory or wherever you've put it um, and you can then upload it to the internet or share it on social um, yeah just uh, do whatever you want with it so that kind of wraps up this tutorial really we've covered the basics of gain staging um, and master bus limiting um, and how to save and render projects so um, thanks for watching until the next video I hope you all stay safe and look after each other okay bye for now